The oil system in both the R22 and R44 is a wet sump system, which means the oil is stored in a sump or a pan at the bottom of the engine and is circulated through the engine by an oil pump. The system is responsible for lubricating the moving parts to reduce friction and wear. The oil system also provides cooling to the engine by carrying away heat from the engine components. It also actually cleans the engine by carrying away dirt, metal particles, and other contaminations. Oil also seals the gaps between piston rings and cylinder walls to ensure efficient combustion. It also protects by creating a barrier that reduces oxidization and corrosion. Let's talk about the components of the oil system. The oil sump is where the oil is stored. It's located at the bottom of the engine and holds the oil that will be circulated through the system. The oil pump draws oil from the sump and pushes it through the engine. It usually is driven by the engine itself and is crucial for maintaining oil flow and pressure. The oil filter removes contaminants from the oil, such as metal particulates, dirt, and carbon deposits. Keeping the oil clean is vital for preventing wear and damage to the engine components. The oil cooler helps to dissipate the heat absorbed by the oil as it circulates through the engine. In the R22 and the R44, air-cooled systems are used, where the oil cooler is positioned in the airflow to maximize cooling efficiency. We also have some gauges inside the, of the cockpit. These instruments allow the pilot to monitor the oil pressure and the oil temperature during flight. Maintaining proper oil pressure and temperature is crucial for safe engine operation. There is an oil pressure relief valve. This valve regulates oil pressure by allowing excess oil to return to the sump if the pressure gets too high, ensuring consistent oil pressure throughout the system. Now, let's talk about the, how the oil system works. During startup, when the engine starts, the oil pump begins to circulate oil from the sump through the system. The oil is first pushed through the oil filter to remove any contaminants. After filtering, the oil is distributed to various engine components. The oil lubricates these moving parts, reducing friction and preventing overheating. As the oil circulates, it absorbs heat from the engine components. The oil then passes through the oil cooler, where airflow going over the oil cooler helps to dissipate the heat, similar to a radiator. This cooled oil is then recirculated through the engine. The oil pressure relief valve ensures that the oil pressure remains within a specified range. If the pressure becomes too high, the valve opens to allow some oil to return to the sump, preventing damage to the engine. Throughout the flight, normal oil pressures typically indicate that the oil is circulating correctly and providing adequate lubrication. The temperature gauge ensures that the oil is not overheating, which could indicate a problem with the cooling system or oil levels. Let's talk about the maintenance and checks of the oil system. Before every flight, the pilot should check the oil level using the dipstick to ensure that it's within the recommended range. Checking the oil visually for contamination or unusual color is also important. Regular oil changes are crucial for keeping the engine in good condition. The oil filter should be replaced during engine oil changes to ensure continued protection against contaminants. The oil system in the R-22 and the R-44 helicopters plays a vital role in ensuring that the engine operates smoothly and reliably by lubricating, cooling, and cleaning and protecting the engine components. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about helicopters, I got a free course to get you started with helicopters. There is a link down below in the description. Love to help you out.